often times we want to get the visual information of things happening at runtime in 2d we can do so with the help of the draw function but unfortunately in 3d we don't have any dedicated functionality regarding drawing lines and other shapes for debugging purposes so hi i'm sky Weston and in this video i'm going to show you how to debug in 3d using immediate geometry First of all, I will start with an empty scene and create a basic setup consisting of two cubes, which will act as a placeholder for demonstrating two endpoints of the line segment, which I will be creating with the help of the immediate geometry node. Now I will add the immediate geometry node to the scene and rename it to Draw3D. You can name it whatever you want. Now I will get the position of both of the cubes and store them into the variables pose A and pose B. When we are starting to generate geometry, we need to start by calling the begin function and passing in a primitive type as an argument. Here we can see the list of values which we can choose from. Now we need to call add vertex with a vector 3 as an argument. And as the name suggests, this function creates a vertex for our line segment. Finally, we need to call end to finish the mesh generating process. Now let's run the scene and see the results. As we can see, we now have a line segment going from cube A to cube B. Now let's change the color of the line or mesh I should say to something else. For that, we need to create a new spatial material and set its albedo to be used as a vertex color. Now we can change the color of the mesh by changing the color of the albedo. Or instead, we can also change color through code. For that, set the albedo back to white and call the function setColor with the color as a parameter before we add vertex. Now we can change color without needing to open the material every time. Now let's make this node into a singleton so that we can create lines from anywhere in the scene hierarchy. I will first of all save the node as a separate scene for itself. Now I will turn the code in the ready function into its own function and have an array of vector 3 as an argument, naming it points. Now I will perform a check to see whether the points array is null or has a size less than 1. If either of these two conditions are true, we would simply return out of the function. I will now remove both of the vector3 variables and instead use the points parameter for adding vertices. Also, we need to make sure that we call the clear function before creating any new mesh so that we don't draw over the already existing one. Finally, simply add the scene to the autoload so that we can use it as a singleton and call this method from anywhere in our scene hierarchy. Now I will remove the draw3d node from the world scene as now we will be using it as a singleton. As we can see that the draw3d node is now automatically instantiated in the root node and we can use it from anywhere in our tree. Now, to test this out, I will add a new script to the world node and call the function createLine. I will do everything just as before, the only difference being that now we don't have to write all the logic for creating a line, as we just use our singleton draw3d to do so. So now after having made the logic for creating lines, let's do the same for creating a sphere. Now I don't exactly know the way immediate geometry's add sphere function works. I don't fully understand the arguments latitudes and longitudes as they often give a rather strange behavior after a certain value. In the case of drawing a mesh, I don't think they are used as angles but rather used for increasing the poly counts of the UV sphere. For creating a sphere, I will be creating a new node for it which will be instanced when we want to make a sphere. For this, I will be using primitive lines for the sphere. You can choose any other primitive type you want.
Now I will head back to the draw 3D script and add a reference to the IG sphere scene. By the way, making it a constant is completely optional. You can do it any way you want. Now I will create a function which creates sphere at the given points. If you want, you can ask for more arguments than just points. Finally, we have to create a function for removing the spheres we have instanced. I will call it before creating a new sphere. Now all we need to do is call the create sphere function from the draw 3D class. Now here we go. This is how we can use immediate geometry to debug in 3D.